What's up, everybody? Dan from the Headwaters Kayak Shop, uh, soon to be just Headwaters. I wanted to go live a little bit. Some of you may have caught the announcement we made over on Facebook. I went live there first with the announcement, but I decided, uh, you know, I've actually shot a video on water, tried to edit it three or four times with this announcement, and I have yet to be able to uh, put something together that I'm proud of. And I just thought, you know, speaking from the heart is always the best policy. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to put it out there, let you guys know what's going on and what to expect from the headwaters moving forward. So let a few people I kind of get in here, I suppose. How's everybody doing? Hopefully well. I'm down here in Lodi right now, uh, working in the shop, sort of buttoning up the 2020 season. We just closed our boathouse last week. Uh, what else? We kind of wrapping things up here at the shop. And uh, selling off the rest of our inventory. I don't know you guys have already probably known if you're in the kayak world, how many people got into the sport this year, which is incredible. We've had more people watching the channel, more people getting into the sports, buying kayaks, asking questions, which has all been incredible. Downside is we have not had inventory really to sell. Like, you know, people, there's been like three months waiting list just to get a boat. Uh, thankfully, we were able to get a few containers in. And right now, we only have feel free aventuras like 110s and 125, but we have a bunch, so we're still selling things. Um, I'm just reading some of the comments here. Just picked up a new yak trailer from Vibe. Yeah, those ride on trailers are pretty sweet. It's cold in Ohio. I know. I've I've been seeing people cold already, and I'm like, man, I'm still paddling. And like last night, I was out paddling without a shirt on. It's just gorgeous. But uh, I know winter's coming, and many of you are already kind of experiencing that. Um, Thankfully, you know, we live in California, so I will be paddling year round and trying to bring you guys along for the ride. Um, anyway, without further ado, I wanted to give you guys a clue on what's going on. So as you guys know, Headwaters YouTube channel this year has gone crazy. We're up to um, like 67,000 subscribers. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in, but we're growing super fast. The Headwaters in general brand has been just uh, kind of on a building phase this year. Um, and I feel like we got to this point where our phones, we have four lines, they ring off the hook all day long. And that seems like a good problem for a retail shop to have, but we never really created the infrastructure to sell products online. We never created the infrastructure to ship kayaks around the country. All these things that really would, uh, we would need to take the next step. So we're getting all this influx of business or customers and interactions, but we're not really able to capitalize on that business and it became incredibly hard this summer and mix that with COVID-19 and everyone wanting to get into kayaking. It created the perfect storm of crazy. Everyone at the shop here was like, we're never doing this again. You know, everyone was just burnt out. Everyone was burning it at both ends, including myself. Um, as you guys know, if you watch a channel, I also distribute kayaks. So I travel around the West uh, selling kayaks to other dealers. Uh, also do the YouTube channel. And then I also do a, we have an on-water facility at Lodi Lake that I have a partner in, ABBA, uh, who helps me run that. And all these things create like four full-time jobs for me. And if you guys know Josh and Taylor, they were the store managers, also helped me, warehouse managers this year, helped me get through uh, the crazy season. Well, they got married last weekend and their uh, honeymoon was to leave and go on a van trip. Um, paddling, riding bikes all around the West. So they quit on me. I shouldn't say quit on me. Uh, it was a mutual like, hey, you get me through the summer, you go do your thing. And so I was at this point where we either grow, we create the infrastructure to sell online, ship kayaks. And I know all you guys have been pushing towards that. Or we focus on paddling, making videos, trying to be, you know, the community kayak store sort of online, and then just send people to the place where they can buy the kayaks. So this requires a lot more book work, a lot more time in the shop, a lot more time behind the screen. This requires more time on the water, more producing videos, more travel, and also more time with my family. So I guys, basically what it comes down to is there was a fork in the road. I took the fork that says um, more time on the water, more time with my family, more time connecting with people out and about. And we are closing down the Headwaters retail store. Um, it was a good time to do it. The shop had never been more profitable. Um, it's not like a, 
COVID story, like the going out of business because we couldn't make it. It was definitely a conscious effort to go out on top. You know, we've been at Headwaters 10 years. I've been working in the industry 15 years and we had just completed our best season ever. We had sold almost every bit of inventory. We normally stock about, I don't know, anywhere from 400 to 700 kayaks. And we were down to next to no kayaks, like, you know, less than 10 in the whole shop. So if there was ever a time to like take the money out of the business and then redirect it, it seemed like the obvious time to do that. Um, our boathouse is still continuing on just the same. ABBA actually bought in partners and so I have a partner in the boathouse and we're hoping to continue to grow that, to continue to serve the community, to get more and more people out on the water, more access to paddle sports. Um, the distribution business, as you guys saw, if you watch the YouTube channel blew up, I was on the road all summer long delivering kayaks all up and down the West coast from Arizona to Washington. And I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth into that a little more. We sold a bunch of boats for preseason for 2021. So I'll be delivering, but now I don't have to like rush back to come put out fires at the shop. Now I can linger. If I go to Arizona, I can hang out with Mike. I can paddle a few places. I can highlight his shop. Uh, I can do the videos and the educational stuff that you guys love, but be able to do it on the road and also be able to sort of focus that headwaters energy into lots of different retailers that are more like local mom and pop independent stores, as opposed to driving you to a website where you can buy all the things. Um, obviously, you know, ACK and all those people, they do a great job, but a local community kayak shop is like what I built my life around. And I feel like it's such an important thing for paddlers to have. So I want to try my best to support local independent retailers and uh, help them grow their scenes and sort of one hand washes the other. Um, I'm going to read through some of these comments over here. I know you guys, first one to unsubscribe. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Some people are pretty upset about it. Uh, online sales, super stoked if it's that. It's not online sales. I want to take sales out of my equation. I know it sounds crazy because you guys love to buy stuff. And, uh, you know, you're getting a lot of people that watch the channel are getting into the sport. But I like the idea of being so non-biased because I don't, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to sell you on the idea of getting into the sport and then here to help you find a local place or outfitter that can sell you the goods but i want to do it just for the love of paddling uh let me know about crescent kayaks i hope to continue working with those guys on some level uh they've been they've been great they make some of the best products they're really hard to find out west so i'm hoping i can uh, kind of introduce them into my distribution quiver a little bit we'll see we'll see how that works out if nothing else i will definitely um you know send people to stores that sell them because they do make a great product uh, should I drive to Lodi for the liquidation? You can. There's not a whole bunch left. I've been posting on Instagram stories every day. I'm selling a ton of stuff. We do have some odds and ends like Yak Attack accessories, 30% off. Um, feel free paddles, 20% uh, off. A uh, lot of roof rack stuff, 30% off. Some stuff like Yak Gear, Yak Power, 50% uh, off. Anyway, you're welcome to cruise through. We don't have that much, though, I'll be honest with you. Bought my first kayak at 67. Love it. Thank you for all the videos. Really educated me and helped me with my purchase. That's awesome. I've been hearing a lot of that lately, which makes my heart so happy. Just people that said, like, like I just had a guy in here a few minutes ago. He's like, you helped me avoid my first five buying mistakes just by watching your channel, um, which that's, that's super cool. Congratulations. Best of luck on your future endeavors. Wish I could have, you could have expanded to the East Coast. Yeah, I, a lot of folks were like, man, I wish I had a kayak shop like yours in my area or in this area. Um, my goal is to come at it from, instead of like a grassroots kayak shop in your town, like I can't multiply myself, but if I can like have a 50,000 foot view and be inspiring to, you know, a whole bunch of new up and comers, hopefully I can speak to somebody that was in my shoes, you know, 10 years ago when I was in my early 20s and I was just so fired up about paddling but had no direction. Like, what if I could inspire someone like myself to open a kayak shop in your neck of the woods um, and support that shop with videos and content. That would be uh, a better outcome for me than, than trying to, uh, you know, clone myself and do shops all over the place. Any plans to paddle the Napa river? Um, yeah. You know, I wanted to mention that a lot of you guys have been hitting me up saying, man, now you're freed up. You should come paddle my area, this area. Do me a favor. If you email me or DM me, um, I'm always traveling around. And if I know I've got like a, a a flat spot to park my rig and somewhere cool to paddle. I might just show up in your neck of the woods and go paddling. 
I also thought it'd be fun to do some subscriber meetups. So kind of post as I'm going along the way, like maybe when I'm in Klamath or Bend or Portland, I can hook up and uh, paddle with you guys. Uh, Klamath River is not too far from me. In fact, I was just saying I would love to get out there in Klamath River and, uh, and spend some time. I did a 10 day trip there when I was in the Boy Scouts and would love to get back up there. Do you know any other vendors that carry feel free kayaks? Yeah. Check the feel free website. There's, there's a ton. Um, and there's more coming on board actually, um, uh, in, in our area, which is exciting. Will the channel continue on? Yeah. I hope that yes, for sure. The channel has been such a bright spot. I've been burnt out for, well, it was Lake Powell in 2017. I came back from a trip with my daughter and we had one of our dear friends pass away on that trip like had a heart attack after a paddle and we had to take him on a boat to get to a marina where they could airlift him out. He ended up passing away. And on that trip, like five days in the wilderness, no cell phones and hanging out with my daughter, my priorities in life shifted. And I realized like, man, it's not all about this business. It's not all about growing a kayak in part empire. It's not about my competition. It is solely about paddling. And at that point I knew I wanted to redirect and do something different in paddle sports. So the YouTube channel has been a godsend for me because it's allowed me to like touch a lot more people, allow me to tell my story to a lot more folks, um, still inspire and get people into the sport. Uh, and I definitely hope to dedicate more time to it moving forward. So good question. Uh, there's one in Oakland. Yes. Uh, California Canoe and Kayaks in Oakland is a feel free dealer. Uh, Kayak City in Sacramento just came on board as a feel free dealer. Obviously Headwaters Adventure in Reading. Uh, question about that i know that comes up a lot in conversations we have the headwaters in reading so brian who's been our partner in the headwaters reading for i think i don't know four years or so purchased um the other half of the stock so he is now sole owner of headwaters adventure company i know you've seen like the joint youtube channel with both of our logos um the, you know i'm super excited for him he is going to do great things with that shop I will still be living up there. I'll still be helping him out. I'll still, you'll still see me around the shop a bunch. Um, still going to help him promote his business, but it is now under, you know, I can't really say new ownership, just full ownership by Brian. So you may see some different steps. Uh, obviously there's still the Hobie dealer. They'll still be selling Hobies uh, all over the North state. Matt, who's been my rigger here at the shop is going to be going up there to work with Brian and he'll be going back and forth. So if you need uh, products delivered or you need something that they sell in that store, uh, hook up with Matt. He's more than happy to get that stuff to you. All right. Let's see what other questions we have. Uh, any recommendations of Fresno area or Central Coast? Yeah, Central Coast Kayaks is there on the uh, obviously Central Coast. Um, and they're a great shop. They work with us. They buy stuff through our warehouse here in Lodi. Um, I know they'd be happy to help you out. A lot of comments. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep up. Uh, Sad, just person native. Have to find another place for future service. Matt's going to continue doing native service. Um, and there, so here's the, here's another big thing is that this shop, Headwaters Kayak Shop, Headwaters is not going to be a retailer, but there's somebody from the Lodi Paddle Club is planning to take over our space and keep a kayak shop going. They're going to sign that lease. I think they're going to take it over. Maybe you start seeing something from them in February. I think it's going to be called Lodi Paddle Company. There's lots of stuff in the work right now. There's nothing that's officially been signed, but it uh, would be really cool to see a paddle shop continue on here in Lodi. And my fingers are crossed that uh, that, that comes to fruition because, man, Lodi has become a paddling mecca. I mean, we get almost 10,000 people a year on the water through our boathouse. It need, there needs to be a kayak shop in town. And I said that whoever opened something up, I would be here to do my best to help support them and, um, and, you know, make drive people there, make sure they're successful. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, I've always been one to um, kind of follow my heart, follow my passions. Um, I wouldn't have opened a kayak shop if it wasn't for that. I mean, I opened this kayak shop in 2010 with a $10,000 loan and people that just um, floored kayaks for me, believed in what we were doing, believed in that if you got people on the water and you created a community for paddle sports, that there's going to always be a need for a pro shop. That's what we found at Headwaters on. And 10 years later, um, I'd kind of seen and done everything that I set out to do in retail. You know, we, you know, grew the kayak fishing thing. We grew, you know, canoeing lessons, the boathouse, just all the things that I kind of set out that I wanted to accomplish. We sort of accomplished. So I'm excited to pass it along. 
and then sink my teeth into some new ideas and new, uh, you know, new plans. Because when you own a kayak shop, what they don't tell you when you sign on is that you're going to be in these four walls five days a week, 10 hours a day, an hour before you open, an hour after you leave, and then direct messages uh, all hours of night, all the time. And people expect some sort of response. Um, and it was exhausting, man. I got kind of stuck in Lodi, so to speak. I was just here. I was in this shop. And I was definitely ready for something else. And people drove from all over the Western United States this year, like literally all over, uh, as far as Wyoming, to come to our shop and buy kayaks because of the channel. So thank you guys. I mean, that's super humbling. Uh, because your video, I purchased an Angler Pro GoTech paddle, and I love it. Uh, those are some. Want to check out the Navigator Pro? Cool. Um, definitely love my Benny Branches Navigator Pro. That's I, I use a two hundred five. They made me a custom one, and I always joke it's the best paddle they don't make. It's unfortunate. It's such a good paddle, but they only make it for you fishermen. So, you know, get it. Uh, love the channel. You were the go-to for which boats to get my wife, son, and I. Uh, we just took our first open water trip together in Rapunzel 120 and Vapor 12 XT. That's awesome. I love hearing that. That's another thing I'm excited about. I never sold wilderness kayaks, but I got to review one in that video because I was able to get my hands on one. I love the idea of being able to paddle whatever I want and talk about whenever, whatever I want, whenever I want, without worrying about like, oh, this isn't a thing I sell, but I should do it anyway. Uh, or going into a box store and buying a bunch of kayaks. Like, I'm not even going to hesitate about that because it's just, I have no, no, do, no dogs in the race, so to speak. Um, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to doing more stuff like that. All right, guys, I think that's it. I mean, you get the concept of what I'm going for. I'm happy to hang out here for another 10 minutes and answer questions, but I just wanted to put that video out there, let you guys know those are the big changes. We are excited to grow the YouTube channel. I'm really hoping to break 100,000 next year on our subscribers, really up the quality of the content, uh, the frequency. I want to do a catalog of videos, like instructional videos that will just live on the channel. Like I did Kayaking 101. I'd like to come out with a Kayaking 102, 103 rescues, um, just foundational knowledge for all of you guys uh, that can just live out here on YouTube. And that could be a way for people to find the channel and hopefully they'll stick around for boat reviews and adventures and things like that. Thank you and God bless you for all the years of service. Uh, my pleasure. I mean, it's been a pleasure to be able to serve the community in, in the way we have. You know, I got to live out my dream of owning a kayak shop, get to walk away with a, you know, a little bit of savings and a bunch of cool kayaks. Like, not everyone can say that in retail. So I'm pretty thankful for that. And couldn't have done it without all, you, all of you guys. Uh, announce the Klamath visit. I will. I will definitely... Um, Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'm putting up, I'm building a new website. Maybe on that website, I'll have a little calendar of my travel plans and uh, try to get a subscriber meetup going. Maybe even if it's just once a month, I would love to hook up with more of you guys on the water. All right. Well, I don't want to linger on here too much. I appreciate you guys watching and, uh, and, you know, supporting the channel. I do want to talk about uh, the Patreon page. I've had that up for a while. I got a lot of grief because I had a retail shop and I was asking for money on Patreon. I think moving forward now that we don't have the retail shop and I'll be relying just on YouTube uh, ads and I, I don't like to put a ton of ads on the video. So I usually just have one or maybe if it's a 15 minute video, I'll do two. Uh, the Patreon page would be a huge help to me to, um, you know, to help support the channel for as little as $3 a month. If you check us out, Headwaters Kayak on Patreon, you can go there and, and donate whatever you want, whatever you feel led. If you like the videos and feel like this channel's helped you and you want to support, um, you know, the Headwaters and my family, that's a, that's a great way to do it. Uh, where can I kayak in Klamath? Man, Klamath is like the Southern Oregon Mecca for paddle sports. Uh, you know, Lake Iwana right there in town. You got Klamath Lake, you've got Rocky Point. You've got Lake of the Woods, you've got Spring Creek, you've got Wood River uh, that are all just iconic 10 out of 10 spots to paddle. Um, you know, Lake Awana, I guess, is like the local town paddle. A lot of people don't paddle there because the water's gross, but I come from the California Delta where I don't think the water gets much worse, but I still see the beauty in it. I still like that. So uh, that's a good spot in Klamath. I'll late to the broadcast, I found your video and I have a Wilderness Systems Pungo 120. Well, thankfully you joined us, man. I'm just announcing we are getting out of the retail game and 
spending more time making YouTube videos as well as uh, working with our distribution business, getting kayaks out here to the West and getting them to awesome dealers and telling their story along the way. Cool. Are there any kayaks out here in Baja, California? I'm sure there are, you know, I know there's great kayaking down there. Um, I love to go down there and see a Cortez and do some paddling. I know some friends of mine do that every winter and someday I might just hitch a ride. I got the RV now and I'm going to like for the first time ever in my life, I'm going to have a season of life where I don't have real work. I I'm like a nine to five, five days a week. I've showed up to this boat or this shop. And then before that I worked retail since I was 15, whether it be at a bike shop or a kayak shop, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Like I'm just so crazy to think like I'm going to have, time to be free and like follow my passions for once for the first time since like definitely before kids, I guess when I, before kids, I would just go, I'd go on a Friday and come back on a, on a Monday and I would get out. But now that I have kids, that's a lot harder. So I'm going to start dragging them around. They're getting old enough where they're down to paddle. So, uh, you know, I Lake Powell's on my list. I'd like to get back to Lake Powell. Um, anyway, lots of places that I'm excited to explore and travel around. And now that we have the RV, my house is dead to me. I don't I don't need to be there. I'm ready to go hit the road. All right, I'm going to read through comments. So freestyle canoeing, I've been getting into it. Um, it's so challenging. I know lots of different paddle sports, but freestyle canoeing is one that I feel like I know this much, and it's like this, you know, this broad of a, a thing. Uh, wait, does this mean you're closing your shop in Lodi? Yes, DJ. A uh, little late late to the, uh, the feed here, but yes, we are closing down the retail store in Lodi. Headwaters Kayak will no longer be selling kayaks in Lodi. Headwaters Adventure Company in Reading will continue on. They got bought out by my partner, Brian. Um, so super excited for Brian. And I'll be, I'll be there helping out, but I won't be selling kayaks anymore. Uh, Brooklyn Kayak Company, are they any good? No, they're garbage. And I wish that somebody would talk about what crap kayaks are because I get them all the time through the back door in the warranty department. They said, hey, my drive's doing this. My steering doesn't work. And then we don't even have the tools to fix them. I can only speak to their pedal drives. That's all I've had uh, um, experience with, but they're a direct consumer brand that brings their kayaks in from China and they're just knockoffs. They're not the real thing in my opinion. I'm sorry, Brooklyn Kayak Companies, if you watch this, but uh, I just get pissed because uh, people bring them in here. We can't fix them. People just spend like 1500 bucks on a pedal kayak that basically is an anchor. And then they sell it to somebody else on Craigslist for cheap. And it's just a circle of, uh, you know, people getting screwed. Sorry, I get a, I don't know. I hate that kind of stuff drives me crazy. But if it's too good to be true, it's true. There's a lot of people out there that are selling stuff that's just not it. Uh, any shops you can recommend around Sacramento? There's only one, Kayak City in Sacramento. And uh, they will be a feel-free dealer now. We're going to be working with them to distribute them kayaks. Uh, so excited to work with those guys. They've been in my biggest competition since day one. I mean, They've been around forever, but when I opened the shop, Kayak City was like, oh, man, they're like the big dogs. And, you know, they've always made me a better person by, you know, they're just hustlers, man. They just, they always have the stock. They're always willing to make a deal. Um, so I'm excited to work with them for once instead of against them because they have definitely uh, uh, served as my, as my challenge for the past 10 years. Uh, was there a past Saturday? Uh, was there the past Saturday to check out the shop for the last time? Gonna miss it. Great customer service. Thank you, man. That's the hardest thing. It's been like a memorial service around here. Everyone coming by, telling stories. You know, we've done so many incredible things over the over the past decade. Um, with you know, when I say we headwaters and our customers, so many great paddles, so many you know, super cool rigs. We've met so many friends along the way. Like your your customers become your family after a while. And pretty much anywhere I go, I see the headwater sticker and I know that there's people in different towns and all along the way that, that love this shop and, uh, you know, welcome me in like I'm family. So it's a, it's a hard thing to say goodbye to for sure. I live in Citrus Heights, but I drove down to Lota just to buy from you. And I, I appreciate that. You know, people unlike that I see somebody, why would somebody unlike or like thumbs down this post? There are a lot of people that are upset that I'm, that I'm doing this. I've had a lot of, especially local customers that just kind of feel like I'm leaving them hanging. Um, but I have to, you know, I think if somebody understood my life situation, 
that I'm a dad of three kids uh, and that this place owns, you know, 60, 70 hours of my week and it's never off the back of my mind. Um, life is short, man. If COVID's taught me anything is that life is short and nothing is guaranteed. And I don't think I'll ever regret those years that I spent with my kids as opposed to, uh, to, to coming in here and, uh, to sell on kayaks. It's just like, what's, you know, what's the greater thing? Obviously I'm there. You see my, my youngest, or I was actually my oldest son when he was a kid, you know, that's my world. I'm just trying to like catch up on some comments. Just, just subscribe for the videos. Wondering what crossover kayak you'd recommend. Yeah, I don't want to get into all that with this video. You know, I would love to do a comparison of different boats at some point, uh, different crossover boats. I paddle a dagger, but that doesn't mean it's the best. There's all sorts of different ones out there. Right on, you guys. Well, I appreciate the support. You know, I really do. I appreciate you guys always kind of, uh, you know, being along for the ride, tagging me in your photos. I really enjoy seeing what all you guys are up to other places you're paddling uh what the scene's like in your neck of the woods and again i'd love to hook up and meet some of you guys along the way so if you're in the west hit me up let me know where you're from i'd love to uh, make a time to to do that i know the, over the next few months my northwest dealers sort of turn off and i only have one more trip to oregon and then i've got a bunch of boats going to arizona that i'll be uh that i'll be running down there so i hope to paddle lake pal um and other places i don't know i don't really know that much in arizona so show me around I'll be driving through Nevada, too, if you know of any cool spots in Nevada. Uh, simple detail. When is the shop closing? Good point. Uh, this Saturday, for sure. Maybe beforehand. If somebody comes through, I've got a, working with a guy who wants to buy over the rest of the inventory. And if that happens, uh, maybe sooner. And then he'll be opening up a, a kayak store here. So fingers crossed that that all goes through. But uh, anytime, man. Uh, if you want to come by Tuesday through this Saturday, and then the shop will definitely be closed down after that. I'm going to turn the website off, turn, uh, turn off the, you know, contact forms. So basically you can just e email me is going to be the only way to get in touch with me or DMs, but you know, DMs, I don't always get to all of them. Some days DMs are just crazy and I just uh, skim through them. Kind of like comments, like I'm trying, but you know, you can only see so many. Will I have a last sale? Good. You know, oh, I got you on a computer here. Let me just see if I can, well, it's too much. Yeah, I'll, I'll go hit me up on Instagram. I'll do a story of what's left because we don't have a lot left. We've been liquidating. We've been like sold out all season. So it's just a matter of like, hey, let's just not reorder anymore. And instead of, you know, reinvesting in starting this company again, basically, uh, we're just going to cash. So we don't have much left, off, honestly. But we do have some. I'll, uh, I'll do it on the Instagram story. Be the change you want to see. I agree, man. I mean... Life is short to not follow your passions. And uh, and like I said, I've been getting burnt out on the retail. So I'm excited to, to get back to just being a paddler. Just being a paddler. It sounds really good. I'll still work in this industry, obviously. This is like my heart and soul is paddle sports. Um, but not to have the end goal be a sell. It sounds really exciting. Just want to say thank you. You made a good choice given the circumstances. Wish you luck in that chapter. Thank you very much. And uh, some people are asking where I'm going to be home basing, at least for the time being, I will be up in the Reading area. Um, you know, we were taking care of my grandma there over last winter. We stayed over summer because of COVID and we're going to do another winter up in Reading. And then we don't know. Then we're going to be um, flexible. I think we're still going to be running the boathouse here in Lodi. I'll have a distribution center in Lodi as well as Klamath Falls, Oregon. So I don't know. And that seems kind of crazy with a family and obligations, but I just trust that the answer will meet us along the way. It always does. And I'm not going to stress about it at this point. So, so some comments held for review. Absolutely. It's a bummer that you're closing the Lodi location. My plans to buy from the store went to, I see why they hid your comment, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I know a lot of people are planning. We're planning to come up here. Um, but uh, unfortunately I will be happy to recommend places to go but I will no longer be selling stuff. Um, again, there will be a kayak shop that's opening up here in Lodi. I'll, I'll announce more details as it comes. River Kings. If you guys aren't already, go subscribe to the River Kings channel. They do a great job. They're mostly whitewater stuff, but they are just 
super informative. Every time I watch a video, I learn something. I'm always entertained. Uh, go check those guys out. But come to North Carolina for a life reset, Kayak Adventure Cola. That sounds so good. Um, as soon as things kind of settle down, I definitely need to get back out to North Carolina. It's one of my favorite places to go visit. I've got a lot of friends out there. Um, it's great because I can go fishing. I can go ride, uh, ride mountain bikes. I can go hit whitewater. North Carolina, if I was going to be an East Coaster, Asheville is where I, you'd find me. Uh, or at least somewhere thereabouts. Uh, no, what about delivering me uh, in a couple of years, my Sterling? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll paddle over there. Um, it's from Norway. And yeah, Nor Sterling kites are hard to get over there. I think I'll probably uh, help Sterling out delivering boats. And if I find customers along the way that want you know, a North Star canoe or a Sterling or just, uh, you know, something fancy. And I can be the middleman. Again, I don't want to make my living selling things, but if I can be the conduit to help connect people and there's money to be made in the middle, uh, maybe I'll do something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So somebody's asking about distribution of Klamath Falls. I be, I'll be working with the ledge again next year. Mike at the ledge has been an incredible partner. He helped me out this year. He was the only reason why I was able to make the feel free, make this transition happen. Really. Uh, Mike allowed me to land five containers in Klamath Falls and it was right at peak shutdown. The MEC, which is a Canadian kind of like REI, uh, refused the five containers. So I landed them in Klamath Falls and then the kayak pandemic hit. Like everyone wanted to buy a kayak. And I sold all five of those containers by middle of June. And that was like, okay, this is going to be a thing. It was like, getting thrown into a new business that I never expected. So anyway, yeah, Mike is a great guy. I live in New Mexico and was planning to drive over to get a yak. Reading is going to be way, way far drive for me. It is. Maybe go to Arizona, Pine Top, Arizona, go see Mike at M&M Kayaks. He's a new shop, but super smart guy. I'm going to be working with him on some videos. He's a good rigger. Um, it's cool to have a good kayak shop in Arizona. We haven't had many over the years. And I will be out there for a spring demo day. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to spending more time in Arizona. New Mexico, man. I don't know any shops out there. You should uh, send, send them my way. Uh, let's see. Good for you, Dan. Do you know any local shops? I might carry Crescent Kayak. So I know Headwaters Adventure Company is for sure. I'm already helping them work that deal. Uh, also talked with Central Coast Kayaks. Uh, they show an interest. A lot of the problem with Crescent right now is just a matter of they can't produce boats fast enough uh, to meet the demand. They, you know, they were already on a huge upward trajectory, growing leaps and bounds, new models every year. And then with the, the COVID and I think probably our YouTube channel helping them out, I really believe in their kayaks. I think they make great products, super affordable in the U.S. Um, so I'm a big Crescent Kayaks fan. And I think because of all those things, created a perfect storm and they are hard to get. They're like a boutique brand at this point. Um, new to the channel, helped out to no end, even in the UK, gutting your clothes it up. Well, duh, you know, I, when I hear stuff like that, I appreciate that very much, Andy. Um, I don't want people to be too sad that we're closing up because really, if you, if you haven't come in the shop, then really for you, nothing changes. Uh, I'll still be able to talk about boats, paddles, life jackets, do reviews. All that's going to stay the same. Really, the only difference is, uh, we won't be able to sell the stuff, you know, but I will have links available in the descriptions to buy things. Um, I will be able to send you to local stores. So not too much changes from that. And so, you know, don't be too bummed for me. It's really a, a positive thing. Uh, will we see social paddle events from the new shop? I cannot speak to what they have going on. I would assume so, but we will uh, continue doing stuff with the Lodi Boathouse, you know, like our full moon paddles, sunset paddles, uh, wildlife paddles, things like that. Hopefully next year we can continue. We, they shut us down because of COVID, but hopefully next year we will continue that. And then um, I will definitely, when I'm in town, I'll be posting paddles and going out. Like today, I'm going to be going out at 530. I didn't post it because, uh, I don't know, just last minute. But I'm excited to uh, hook up with you guys when I'm in town. Hey, Dan, apologize if it's already asked. Called Kayak City and the guy remembered you saying that they had a lot uh, on order. Maybe he misunderstood called Kayak City and the guy scoffed at carrying the Sea Stream 120 pedal. I remember you saying they had a lot on order. Um, I don't know who you talked to, Corey. I uh, would recommend calling and speaking with Brandon Watts, who's the store manager there. Um, that's all I got to say. 
anyone know when Hobie might be announcing anything new for 2021? Not a lot of talk about that, but I hear that there's an announcement coming soon. Hobie always blows everyone's doors every year. Uh, they are the ones to watch for sure when it comes to pedal drives. Very cool. Do you have Aventura 125? Yes, I got a bunch. That website should be back up. I've been getting just like every three days, my website's been crashing. It's never crashed in 10 years. And now that I'm announced I'm closing, it's crashing left and right. Anyway, um, I think it should be back up. But yes, we have Aventura 125. So you may have to refresh your browser. That's pretty much the only thing I have left is 110s and 125s. And I'm going to be doing them for 475 and 575 for the next couple of days uh, until we close. Let's see. I just found your channel last week. I'm loving your sharing all reviews. You're super welcome. Uh, have you said what's changing in 2021? Yeah, I'm not going to go over it again. You just have to watch this back in a minute. I'm about ready to wrap it up. Congratulations on the change, man. I enjoyed the videos. It has helped me greatly. I actually sold my old Jackson for New Crescent. Uh, I'm in enemy territory five minutes from the Jackson factory. I bet, man. But I also bet you'll be a lot happier with the, uh, the end product. I think for less money, they're making a better boat. Uh, now, no, it's not across the board. Jackson's high end stuff's still really good, but like I did the bite versus uh, the light tackle, not even in the same category, in my opinion. Some people would disagree. Just depends what you're looking for. Everyone should demo boats for themselves. Uh, I will miss Headwaters Kayak Shop immensely. God bless you, Dan, and all of your new business adventure, all your new adventures tomorrow. I pick up the last kayak I'll ever buy from you. Thanks for the great deal on the Tanner Crown. Oh, man. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Well, hopefully it won't be the last time we see each other, but uh, but it will probably will be the last kayak you buy from me. Unless, like I'm sure, I'll always be garage selling kayaks because I review so many, I get sent kayaks, or I'll buy them cheap. I'm sure I'll still have some uh, kayaks going out the, uh, the old boat shed at the house. So I'll probably just post those on Instagram story, or maybe I'll have a tab on my website of like old YouTube projects. Will you continue YouTube? Absolutely, 100%. See you in Klamath one day. I look forward to it. Are you going to expand your channel's merchandise? Yes. Yeah, we're actually working on some new designs. So more shirts, hats. I think... Uh, are you guys still there? Oh, yeah. Still there. Okay. Um, I think what I need to do is uh, start kind of taking on myself. I've been using Teespring, which is super helpful because they design and print and they make good quality shirts. I don't really have to touch it. But unfortunately, it kind of limits me to what I can do. So I know um, I'm actually working with Happy Paddling. We did some Happy Paddling branded dry bags. I'm going to have those up on the website. It will be on his website or my website. Um, straps, hats. But yes, I do plan on expanding the merch. I hope that'll be a, uh, uh, a little shot in the arm financially, you know, a, a way for people to support the channel, support the shop if they don't want to do Patreon. At least you're getting something out of it, you know. Uh, the bite vs LT is what sold me. I'm a former Jackson pro staff member. All right, Aaron. Well, don't, you know, don't get me in trouble out here. I'm not trying to create enemies. I love, you know, Jackson kayaks and I have long, long history and do a business together. They make great stuff. Uh, the Coos is still one of the best river fishing boats out there. But, uh, but I just think in that price point at eight ninety nine, uh, Crescent's tough to beat. Uh, cool. All right, you guys, I, I really appreciate all the comments and the chat. It's been nice hanging out with you. I'm going to go. We're, we were at almost 40 minutes here. I'm going to uh, go grab some lunch. Thank you guys for watching. Anybody that's late to the party, yes, the announcement is we are closing our retail store, and we're going to continue on with the YouTube channel. We're going to continue on with our on-water facility at Lodi Lake, and we're going to continue on with the YouTube channel. Thank you guys all for your support, and uh, until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.